at least if you die in a car wreck, they can always retrieve the body. See, being Baptist, we need that. You give us something to embalm and some tater salad. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we, we can have a funeral, you know. I mean, this, this ashes in an urn ain't for us. If you hear a Baptist talk about cremating, that's not a full blood Baptist. He probably married outside his faith. <laughs> if you hear a Baptist talk about burning something, it's going to be biscuits or leaves. <laughs> it's not going to be Uncle Larry. <laughs> and you all know that this is true. Look, we do. We respond to every tragedy in life with food, a covered dish. <laughs> We'll knock on somebody's front door and go, sorry to hear about your son-in-law. Here's some baked beans. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, speaking of the covered dish, you ever notice how people will spend more time talking about the food and who brought which dish than they do the poor fellow who died? <laughs> Here's this guy, he hasn't even been buried yet. But all the conversation is going like this. Well, I see Elizabeth brought that macaroni salad. I knew she'd do this. <laughs> I guarantee you one thing, if it had been somebody on her side of the family, she'd have brought some kind of meat. <laughs> when my cousin died, never talk about my side of the family, He's the one who drilled himself to death. <laughs> hey, lady, this ain't funny. <laughs> what happened was he had this high-powered Black & Decker drill, and he was going to put the screw back in his cowboy belt buckle. <laughs> I told him, I said, I think I'll take that belt off first. <laughs> he said, don't tell me how to use my drill. I said, okie dokie. <laughs> he gets about halfway through and sneezes. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway, when he died, that being my side of the family, guess, guess what she showed up with? 11 deviled eggs. Now, who in the world makes an odd number of deviled eggs? We think she ate one on the way over here. But here's the way the Baptists do it. The moment we hear someone has been admitted into the hospital, we go grocery shopping. When we hear they have been moved into intensive care, we start cooking. <laughs> and if they should get better, we'll just freeze it. <laughs> it was only 12 years ago that they officially categorized obesity as a disease. It's official, obesity is a disease. Fat people can't help it. <laughs> It's just like polio. <laughs> Maybe someday they'll find a cure. <laughs> Nobody in this room really believes that obesity is a disease. I mean, come on. Where do you folks think I caught this? <laughs> Got too close to a fat person. They sneezed, now I got it. <laughs> and real big people are always short-winded. And they should be, see, I'm short-winded. I'm probably more short-winded than anybody in here tonight. <laughs> what, what do you weigh right here, what do you weigh? <laughs> what, what do you weigh? 150. You, you're saying 150? A grown man. <laughs> Are you? Are you? 
Are you sick? <laughs> you know that. Yeah. What's your name? What's your first name? Huh? Rod, R-O-D. Are you retired or working? You're working. What kind of work you do? I know there's no heavy lifting. I know that. <laughs> what kind of... What, what, what kind of work you do? A surgeon. Are you a doctor? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I bet here's a good line you can use with your fat patients. <laughs> have, have you tried this, Rod? Try this. Look, you need to tell them. Matter of fact, they'll get a kick out of it. Say, look, honey, let me put it this way. You need to lose what I weigh. And, see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. okay. And look, and don't misunderstand that. If you listen carefully, I never, never, never make fun of anyone for being overweight. That's part of my heritage. My whole family can carry their own shade with them. I just kind of poke fun at their mannerisms, their habits, the way they talk. And I'm an expert. I grew up with these folks, and so did you. I got the aunt that way. God love her. She's like, <laughs> my dad used to say, if you meet her in the hallway, it's just as easy to jump over as this go around. <laughs> now, this right here is going to remind you of somebody you know. I ate more than I planned to. I think starting tomorrow, I'm going on some kind of a diet. Well, no, I can't tomorrow. We're going to Cracker Barrel tomorrow. I'm good mind to change doctors. Uh, Dr. Rod ain't doing me no good. If you go into the kitchen, cut me a piece of that cake. <laughs> Good night. God bless you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.